and she is about to get this game underway. It's the Nadashiko of Japan wearing blue against the three lionesses of England. A clash of culture, of style and of island nations and it's a meeting that's happened infrequently in the history of world soccer. The men have met just twice, both in friendly games. For the women, this is the first ever meeting between the two nations and it's one that could go a long way to determining the outcome of Group A. And they're going to be in a 4-4-2 formation and goal is uh, Miho Fukumoto. Making a break in. Not a bad service from her, was it? And a corner kick for England. Let's have a look at the English starting lineup. I've already told you about Rachel Brown in goal, but it's going to be a 4 3 3 alignment, to Tony. They're going for pace on the flanks tonight. Yankee, Carney, and Aluko up top have blinding speed. They're going to try to use that speed to break down the cohesiveness of the Japan defense. But a slip at the back could cause problems. Rachel Brown was alive to the danger. Kelly Smith for England and Homari Sawa for Japan. This is Sawa combining with Arakawa. Well, she got there. Didn't get much on the shots. But Arakawa, you can't miss her, can you? Eriko Arakawa, she's uh, 27 years old. I think it's great for England to be taking this next step in their game. Now, having said that, you can see how strong Japan is. Now, this is Aluko. Full of pace, full of cunning. Needs support to lay it off. And, in fact, the uh, support runs are dead gone ahead of the ball but England maintained possession Karen Carney has been known as a uh, super sub for most of her uh, England career has come off the bench to score some very big goals Alex Scott's service is a menacing one and Luca though forced away from goal Japan this time able to uh, remove the danger without too much trouble. It's uh, Miyama who's setting up this free kick. Arakawa will be one of the targets. But too strong. Right into the arms of Rachel Brown. And you like that as a goalkeeper early on, don't you? Now Luko, nice touch. Yankee with a decent service too. Offside uh, spoils a promising England build-up. And a first look at Kelly Smith, one of the stars in this English side. Sawa right into the wall, second bite of the cherry, but uh, scooped it well over the top. Uh, we look at Aya Miyama lining up the free kick this time. It's a good service. I mentioned a recent friendly where uh, Japan beat Brazil 2-1 in Tokyo and both goals came from services just like that. Miyama chipping free kicks into the box and uh, headers on that proved productive. Well, and I can see where Brazil won't be as organized as England would on set pieces and they're going to be obviously very good in the air. But that's still a very impressive uh, result for Japan. Now, Rachel Yankee with pace to burn. Aluko is isolated here for a moment. The layoff was an intelligent one. She was hoping Karen Carney would be charging in on that right-hand side, but uh, it was Miyama who was able to uh, get it away. With the speed that England has, they have a devastating counter-attack. Now Kelly Smith going to work inside the area. Smith's shot! Well, she dragged it just wider the near post after good approach work. But this is Kelly Smith. She beats one player, she holds off another player, and she gets the, uh, her lethal left foot on the ball just wide this time. And some would say they did well just to get here, uh, Tony. They knocked France out in European qualifying, and France are the only top ten ranked side not to make it. Here's England on the move again. Just ahead of Yankee. This is Kinga driving on for Japan. Sawa outside, room for the cross for Kinga. She's picked her spot. Arakawa, as always, was the target. But England on the counter. Kelly Smith turning defence into attack. She's having to do it by herself at the moment. Now she releases Aluko. Aluko going for goal. But a fairly tame effort in the end from the Chelsea woman. Biggest implication, Adrian, is they're not going to be able to rest players against Nigeria. 
Kelly Smith again trying to slide that ball in behind the back line. Miyama weighing up her options. Look for the little flick. Oh, no, it went all the way through. That could so often be deadly. There was an infringement in any case. Sawa helping it on. And let it go. This is threatening for Japan. I think most of that is because they don't match up that well physically. Utsugi's ball is a good one. Oh, it was wide open. England have Germany. Well, depending on how this game, if this game ends in a draw. This is Yankee. Good service. Kelly Smith is there, but good defensive work again by Sakai and Isozaki. They haven't missed a beat so far. They've been embarrassed. Argentina's a proud soccer country. This is promising for England. It's Williams settling on the ball. Again, a good snap tackle. Katie Chapman's uh, eventual shot is well off target. Goes far post, the header. Back towards Farah Williams. Now Carney can deliver again. Drives it in this time. Well, in the end, comfortable for Fukumoto, but uh, Faye White was the nearest player to it for England. And again, running into heavy congestion. The uh, pieces are picked up by Kelly Smith. A little layoff for Carney. Smith. Some dancing footwork from Kelly Smith, and eventually she's uh, tripped by Tamo Sakai. Heard her referred to as the Zidane of the women's game, Kelly Smith, as that free kick was uh, sent into a uh, dangerous area. Sawa had to come back and deal with it. Both teams, really, but England has had the more dangerous opportunities. They've been in great positions to put the ball in behind, such as this. Now Aluko is round the back this time. The keeper has missed it, and Aluko has missed it. An open goal for Eniola Aluko, who for once eluded the offside trap and Fukumoto, but then proceeded to steer her shot wide. Julie Foudy will also be with them, and they'll bring you up to date on the Nigeria-Sweden game too. But it's uh, all over here. That was 1995. They got a great opportunity to do it in 2007, but they've got to score a goal, and they've got to have quality, and they're both now. The, the tension in this game is going to continue to rise. So Caddy Sykes, our American referee who once threw Tony out of a game, gets us underway with England now kicking from left to right. And, well, the second half picking up where the first half left off, and this time it was Kelly Smith who uh, fell foul of the flag. Scott settling on the ball. Little outside of the foot pass is a good one. Promising for England. The shot from Farah Williams was beaten away by Fukumoto. Excellent build-up, good run, good shot, excellent save. maintaining the good movement Farrell Williams going down advantage played Kelly Smith well Aluko had made that dart into the near post Smith was trying to pick her up and by these young players playing with Kelly Smith it's like you know learning the game from playing with a great player Aluko She's one on three, but she's going to try to take on. These are the decisions that she's making. She should have spun out there. There's a player behind her. She's got to be smarter with that. Her decisions right now are those of a young, inexperienced 20-year-old player, as she is. Play, get around, and serve the box. Carney. Too much loft on that, and gave Fukumoto time to get into position. And England have Japan pinned back deep. Can they find a way through? Or maybe this woman can. Kelly Smith drives for the byline. Little cutback. And the shot is there. Katie Chapman took it. Carney. Japan flustered. And in the end, it was Arakawa, the centre forward, who just about got it away. 
Nice. Great, great start by England for the second half. Kelly Smith again. There was attacking from both teams for the entire game, and you know North Korea has to be very ha happy getting a point from the number one team in the world. Now Japan have strung a few passes together. This is uh, Ando, the halftime substitute, serving it across. Sugi helping it on. Ah, that was a decision against Katie Chapman. Something's going to happen positive on the attacking side. She's going to be involved with it. Here's the free kick. Oh, it's a good reflection. And it went in. Miyama was the player who hit it. And she's given Japan a golden goal here against England. But rather than setting up someone for a free kick this time, Tony, she scored directly. And I wonder if that took any touch on the way through. It looked like I couldn't tell if it hit an English defender. Oh. Kelly Smith with a blast. The U.S. went behind with two goals. They went behind 2-1. But they came back and they got that equalizer. And now England's going to have to do the same thing. Mayama's near post corner. It was a late run by Sawa. To the goal scorer Miyama. Oh, she's tricked her way around the fullback. Sweden gets the three points. The USA is basically their backs to, to the goal to some level here. They need to get a win against Sweden. Sweden doesn't need the win, but obviously with the win they would go through. Now Alex Scott for Karen Carney. Oh, she blasted it right at Fukumoto. And another chance goes astray for England. She had all the time she needed. This is Kelly Smith! Side netting. Some of the crowd thought it had gone in. One player she wished she could select for the U.S. national team. I think a lot of the national team coaches felt that way. Here she is again, released by Carney. Serves it back, a Luko shot. Was again rather hurried. A Luko. Taking on Isosaki. England encamped in Japanese territory. Too high for Smith. She has it now. Katie Chapman alongside. Kelly Smith doing it herself. On it goes to Alex Scott. Surely a Luko. What a clearance off the line. A Luko can hardly believe it. How did that stay out? Well, Isozaki knows how. England is all over Japan right now. They've earned a goal. They've got to realize it. Carney's corner. The header over the top from Katie Chapman. For those of you that don't know what MBE is, member of the British Empire. One of those awards that the, the Queen hands out. Well, I didn't know, but I didn't want to let on that I didn't know. But now, that's quite an award. Here's the shots. Rachel Brown. And her positioning just right. This is Karen Carney. Oh, there's a, a chance, and it's somehow it's headed wide. Surely it was easier to score for Rachel Yankee. Oh, pal, with a rueful shake of the head. Phillips stepping in. <laughs> Karen Carney was prepared to be patient. Eventually, the, goal, the ball reached her, and she's on her way. Then running into congestion, Carney keeping going, but no trouble for Fukumoto. So it's Miyamoto will be the one to make way for Hara. Ayumi Hara, 28 years old with 32 caps to her name. They have to play Germany next. Let's not forget that they do finish up against Argentina. Well, it's Germany next for the English. It's a good looking ball from Kelly Smith, just eluding Karen Carney, but uh, we pick up the pieces and build again with Alex Scott. Carney inside one challenge, she was brought down, clipped by Utsugi. And she will uh, take a seat now and allow Jill Scott to come on. Another 20 year old is being thrown on, winning just her eighth cap. 
plays her uh, football for Sunderland in the English domestic game. Can she come on and be a hero for the national team? Scott service. Oh, it flicked through. There was a forest of players lined up along the edge of the six-yard box, and Casey Stoney was the one who got a touch. Coverage of the FIFA Women's World Cup right here on ESPN. Germany hit 11 yesterday, Japan looking for their second. So they'll need some reviving if they go Just down here. This is Smith. A little layoff. Well, it wasn't that far away. Farrah Williams went for placement rather than power. And now the space for the Japanese. And they're testing that right-hand flank. Cross coming in. Arakawa on the turn. Well, is this the one? Quick corner. Kelly Smith has it on her left foot. It's a good looking ball. Oh, was there a handball? Appeals go up, but uh, referee Kelly Sykes not interested. What point, Tony, if you're Hope Powell, do you throw a caution to the wind and throw on another? I've already done it. That's a good ball. This is Smith oh. on the turn. Kelly Smith on the On the ESPN, a blowout yesterday, but two great games already today. The North Koreans holding the United States to a 2-2 draw. And now this. Kelly Smith has already scored one. She's in the box again. Smith for England. And again, the rebound. It's two. Kelly Smith takes them both off this time. And has she put England into the driver's seat? Two goals and two shoes off, I mean, but this is Kelly Smith. She's taken over the game. She says, I need to win it for England. I need to get England to the second round, and she very well may have done it. Nagasato is the player to come on instead of uh, Captain Isosaki. Scott, uh, is that possibly her back she's holding? She's played a strong game for England. Uh, they need to have her back for the game against Germany. And replacing her is Lindsay Johnson, the woman who had a last-minute call-up, but she wasn't in the original squad, but Stephanie Houghton broke her leg but the day before England flied out, flew out to Asia, and uh, Lindsay Johnson was that last-minute replacement. And now she's in the biggest game that England has ever played. Oh, that was good goalkeeping. Rachel Brown had to get there in front of Adakawa. She's hurt as well. Now, because she ended up with the ball, the referee's probably going to give her back the ball, as she just did. It's good officiating. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a bad throw. This could be real danger. But England get away with it. Lindsay Johnson was actually back to snuff out the danger, but uh, Rachel Brown almost tossed it away. 2-1 in front and trying to seal the deal now. Carney just uh, playing it into space. Play it to Kelly Smith. Let her take it into the corner. You don't want to give possession back to the Japanese. That's the last chance to lose now for Japan. A huge heave forward from Fukumoto. It's Williams who's underneath it. Mayama. Rather unsteady header away this time from Mary Phillip. And she's given away a free kick, has she? Well, there's going to be one more opportunity for Japan. Well, there's a, a booking for a delay of this final kick. Against Kelly Smith, that could come back to haunt England. Mayama hits it! Oh, what a goal! What a goal for Japan! Mayama is the hero! She has two, and Japan have pulled a point out right at the death. Watch the quality of this finish. The game is on the line. You've got the last kick. Talk about taking a free throw in basketball when the, the game has ended. This is the equivalent of that about ten times harder, and she puts it in the absolute corner. What a great finish.
Two free kicks from Bayama. Two goals for Japan. She has answered what Kelly Smith did for England. And it has earned a point for her side in the most dramatic of circumstances. England will feel this is two points thrown away at the end, Johnny. Well, England's going to complain about that call by Kerry Seitz. And I think they've got something. Well, the standings look like this now. Germany in front. England and Japan still in the running, though. Now it's down to perhaps who can score most against Argentina. We will find out as the tournament progresses. But both these sides still alive.